what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe i've tried my best to stay away from this topic for so long and a lot of subscribers have asked me to speak on this particular topic and this particular issue so with that in mind i want to start this off with a disclaimer if there's anybody that's watching me that is part of the rainbow community is what i like to call it because i can't keep up with the words and say them in order all the time correctly i am not a transphobic person i am not gay phobic or any other kind of phobic that you want to call it all right but i do understand the frustrations that most people are having when you see what what the world is trending to now and apparently even other countries don't want nothing to do with this and you'll see that in the, in in some of these in, in one of these clips that I'm going to show you later on in the video. So, disclaimer: I am not a transphobic, gay phobic, any of that. All right, but I will say this: this is one of the reasons why I did I started traveling because I don't want or can't stand the thought of having to raise kids under these kind of conditions because I can see how it can be confusing to children if it's already confusing to adults. All right, so I'm going to quit talking. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This person just came into the bar and said, hey, what are your pronouns? You kind of look like a they, them. And... <laughs> um. I hated that they were right. What you want? What you want? Say wrong pronoun bad. Say correct pronoun bad. What? What you want? You get you come. Now this is one of the ones that really throws me off because even to this day I really don't understand the purpose or the concept of these pronouns. Because I remember, so, okay, so, for y'all that don't know, I have an older sister who is a lesbian. I prefer, I prefer to call her bisexual because she had two children before she started dating women exclusively. But I digress. She had a conversation with my cousin, who's gay, and he asked her what are your pronouns and my sister was just kind of like damn i gotta download some more of my clips because this would have been a good time to say ain't nobody got time for that that's exactly that's pretty much what my sister was saying so it just goes to show you i don't know it just seems so unnecessary to me in my opinion all right that's just me and i'm not saying that to be disrespectful i prefer to just call people by their name to keep it simple and easy that way i don't come off like i'm being disrespectful that's that's just pretty i, I treat transgenders the same way because i feel i i think that's pretty cut and dry and that way it avoids all the bs but let's keep it moving Megan Kelly's done playing games. I started off being like, I understand, I have empathy for you, I will use your pronouns of choice. You know, I'm not gonna say you're a woman, but you're a trans woman. And now I am realizing that all of those things are gateway drugs to the co-opting of female sports and the word female and the word woman and breastfeeding and childbearing and menstruation, all the things that are under solidly the list of what is a woman? You don't know the first thing about being a woman. You have no idea what the average woman has been through the course of her life. 
the challenges we have, the beauty of being a woman, the softness of being a woman, and you never will. And I'm done engaging in this fiction, Paul. I'm done. I have empathy, I have compassion, but I am not willing to abandon truth in the name of sparing feelings. If you agree that we can love people without watering down the truth, type amen in the comments and click follow or subscribe for more. Amen to that, brother. And you know what? I'm really not surprised because I'm starting to see more women get frustrated by this, especially in terms of women's sports, like she mentioned in that last clip. Speaking of sports, check this next clip out. In the last few years, a biological male has been named Woman of the Year on several magazine covers. A biological male is referenced as a top-ranking female in our White House. A biological male was named the NCAA Woman's Swimmer of the Year. A biological male is making tens of thousands of dollars being the face of womanhood for Nike, for Tampax, for Bud Light, for Kate Spade, and countless other companies. A biological male took home the award for Best Actress at the Golden Globes. Are we really still trying to make the case that feminism supports women when the feminists are completely silent and or cheering on biological men taking over the space of women? She said it, not me. Oh, that ain't nothing. Remember when Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner, won Woman of the Year? Y'all remember that? I'm starting to think this is, this has something to do with a, with propaganda too. I really do because I remember that's where it started at and it seemed like it's really grown off of that and since then because now what you're starting to see is that they're they're all starting to take over women's spaces and slowly but surely you're starting to see more and more women speak up about it they wanted to support it at first because you know because of the F in this movement. But what what do I say all the time? What, what, what did I say like a video or two ago? All of this that they asking for is starting to backfire. And this is one of those things that you can add to the list that is backfiring on them. Be careful what you wish for. I'm going to play a couple more clips, man. I'm going to go ahead and close it out because apparently this is starting to become a global issue as well. Check out these next couple clips. I blame, I blame you all. I blame you all. You know why? These dudes never had period one day in their life. They never had a crime. They don't know what it is to be a woman. They now put on a dress and you all accept them as a woman? And, and I mean, we look at all the people in America. 7% of the population in America is transgender, right? How the hell... The rest of y'all, telling, telling the rest of y'all, 93% that, 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 that this is how it's going to be. Millions of people in India are canceling Starbucks after it released an ad telling the story of a transgender woman named Arpit who became Arpita, reconnecting with the family after a long period of separation. And people are mad as it promotes gender being fluid and are saying don't bring that woke Western propaganda to India. Many are also asking how come Muslim names are never used? It's a good question. Hashtag boycott Starbucks is now trending. What? What do you think? I think India has every right to feel that way. I think all other countries that want to reject this, they have the right to do so. It's like the United States, I'm like, y'all got to understand that just because we're one of the more influential countries and we're one of the most, if not the most progressive one doesn't mean that these other countries are going to follow everything that we do because from the outside looking in people can see the negative effects and they don't want that and 
passport bros this is one of the things that we discuss because like i mentioned before my best friend is considering homeschooling his child because he's concerned about things like this y'all saw the video that i did a few days ago where they have guys in drag twerking and dancing in front of children so don't tell me they're not trying to force this on kids in the united states y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man this was kind of tough for me to go through um again disclaimer i'm not a transphobe or anything of that nature but a lot of my subscribers been asking me to cover this topic for a long time and when i was on tiktok recently looking up content all of these clips kept coming up like everything that i just showed y'all those clips came up like back to back to back to back to back so i kind of took it as a sign that you know maybe this is something that seems to be a hot topic or a serious issue right now all right if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love for support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know what i'm uploading hit the like button because that's what the algorithm helps me reach about our audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description and pinned in the comments until the next video y'all deuces